It's a case that has frustrated investigators for 17 years, but tonight, the top prosecutor says he believes the murder of Molly Bish will be solved. And he's telling five investigators, Kathy Curran, how investigators hope technology and a tip will give them the break they need. We want to do something for this family. There's a killer out there. We want to solve this case. That's what's on the mind and in the heart of the top prosecutor in the Bish case each year on June 27th, the day Molly Bish vanished from her lifeguard post at Cummins Pond in Warren. There's a level of frustration whenever you have an unsolved homicide. DA Joe Early says that's why detectives have gone back to day one, talking to previous investigators, pouring through dozens of boxes of evidence, and retracing Molly's steps on that day back in 2000. This surveillance video from a local convenience store captured the last image of the 16 year old about 13 minutes before she disappeared. What makes this even harder was that the crime scene at the time was virtually destroyed. They thought Molly had drowned. Mm -hmm. So by the time the experts got in and said, wait a minute, stop. You know, so much had been compromised. Convicted murderer Rodney Stanger is a person of interest, along with this man who was staying at a nearby campground. He looks like the suspicious man at the pond spotted by Maggie Bish the day before Molly disappeared. And he had a white car similar to the one that man was driving. Investigators are doing enhanced DNA testing on evidence taken from the pond, the woods where Molly's body was found three years later, and other locations. Anything promising come out of that? Yes, I can't speak to it in detail, but you know, we have cause for optimism based on some of the stuff we've tested. We're looking for that bit of physical evidence. We're looking for that tip. We're looking for that information. We're looking for a little divine intervention, you know, point us in the right direction. We need a break. And that enhanced DNA testing has resulted in investigators testing more evidence. That testing is ongoing. I asked the DA if he thought they were close to solving this case. He said he wouldn't use that word, but he's optimistic. Kathy Curran, 5 Investigators.